from a crocodile who nearly got his food delivered right off the edge of a boat to a woman who tried her best to avoid being a snack for a gator. Here are the 25 scariest crocodile encounters of the year. I am your host, Curtis. Mr. Gator. Hey, welcome, Mr. Gator. Can you please, no, uh wait. Stop. Hold on, Mr. Gator. Hold on, man. Hold on, bro. Listen, wait, 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 bro. Hold on, stop. Just stop, bro. Oh, shit. Come on, bro. Oh. Look, I think whoever filmed this video thought they had a docile gator on their hands. Saying they were wrong is an understatement. <laughs> These two got a bit snap happy whilst photographing crocodiles in Florida. Pete, you're too close to him. The pair were at the Everglades National Park when they decided to disturb the world's largest reptiles. Oh God. Listen to this man freak out when he saw a bunch of gators out in the Everglades in Florida. My brother, I just hope you don't accidentally fall out that boat. Oh God, Pete, your pedal's too close to that one. <laughs> Sorry. Three dogs have a serious attitude and one of them very nearly gets a toothy attitude injustice. This is in India, where this man is unbelievably close to not one, not two, not three, but four huge crocodiles. Like, what would happen if one day this man just kind of slipped on one of the wet rocks? Like, not like fall in the water, but just kind of lose his footing. I mean, he would be some beef jerky, like real quick for these beasts. Get it. Two men are out fishing and everything seems to be just fine, but something very unexpected happens. A crocodile steals the fish and eats it right in front of them. The croc is like, uh, yeah, and what you gonna do about it? Hopefully the men took a hint and got the heck out of there. Run back, bro. Run back. Oh, run, bro. Run, 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 run. Run, Daniel, run, run. Run, Daniel! Run! Run, bro! Oh, no, he's got it! Pressure on! Keep... No! No, it's so big! It's so big, he's swallowing it! Oh, the whole thing. Oh, the whole thing's gone down his gob. Oh. <laughs> a boat with some tourists is floating along when it comes across a large gator. What happened next will shock you. You can see the enormous gator jump onto the boat, and luckily for the tourists, had no interest in eating them, at least this time. A tour guide is getting pretty close at one point in this video to some huge saltwater crocodiles. Later in the video, he's back on the boat and is continuing to hand feed the crocs. What happened next is something that shocked the entire boat.
I don't know at what point that this swimmer noticed this huge crocodile following him, but uh, holy moly. Casually going for a swim in a beautiful remote part of Mexico? Well, you should probably watch out for the locals, as this man got the shock of his life when a huge crocodile chased him to shore. Amateur footage has emerged showing a swimmer frantically trying to reach the beach whilst being stalked by a massive crocodile. Panic tourists on the overhanging Boca Pila Bridge watched in terror as the man made a beeline for dry land. As the crop drew closer, luckily a quick-thinking onlooker threw a large object in the water to stop the snapper in his tracks. Now, me and Sean were uh, playing the, the lagoon between five and four and all that. So this guy's out fishing and caught a nice one. But the gator was like, uh, bruh, no, you ain't gonna take that from me. And guess what? The gator stood by that and literally came up on the land to seal the deal. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. This takes place by the river where a croc is there feeding on a deceased hippo. A lion arrives because, I mean, after all, that's a lot of meat. Can't let it go to waste. I don't think the lion initially understands the croc is there, but he almost finds out the hard way. Trying to get some work done. Hey. Anyway. Get out. Away. Oh, away. <laughs> Stay. Sit. This guy's an animal handler and he is insane. Look at how he is handling this large saltwater croc. Even at certain points turning his back to the ferocious predator. Let me tell you something. There is no point in which I would get this comfortable with such an animal. I don't care if I raised it from a hatchling. This croc is obviously familiar with him, but uh, still, bruh. This is admirable, but I, I just couldn't do it. Here's an encounter between a croc and a jaguar. So the Jaguar is down at the bank here lapping up some dirty H2O and I think it would be naive for me to say that the Jag didn't know a croc was in there. Like, of course it knew. I mean, the only question is, like, where is the croc in the water? Go away! Oh my god, I had to push him away with my paddle. It's pretty disturbing actually how comfy these alligators are around humans. Like, sometimes you see these videos and then sometimes you see these videos and it looks like the gators are like walking up to you like a dog will walk up to you to get petted. But of course the gator doesn't want to be petted. You know, <laughs> to say the least. So, some of you might think this gator is peaceful, but, like, this isn't good. The lady's trying to keep the gator away from her, like, kayak with the paddle board. And I must say she's doing a pretty good job at that. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. So 
this happens in India, where the streets are flooded, and let's just say, muddy water wasn't the only thing flooding the streets. It's so easy for a croc to snatch one of these people that's uh, walking around because look, it can just hide in the water. I mean, scary for a croc to be this close to home, like literally. A drone flies close to a gator and let's just say that was a mistake. The beast bites it right out of the air. Oh my God, he's eating it! Travel blogger Dev Langer was in the Florida Everglades and thought it would be cool to get a close-up shot of a gator with her new drone. But the hungry gator had other ideas. Oh, Things is food. So oh my God! The alligator, nicknamed George by the stunned tourists, bites right through the drone's battery. Oh, what are you <gasps> doing, George? Don't eat that! George, no! Well, that meal sure didn't go down right. Look at the smoke billowing from its jaws. Oh Talk about indigestion. <laughs> Look at the smoke coming out the gator's mouth like a dragon. Mr. Gator is going to need a heck of a lot of fiber to push that thing out. This is in Australia where some humans thought it would be fun to mock an enormous crocodile. Why do this to the crocodile? I mean, if you're going to have fun at the crocodile's expense, the least you could do is at least give the meat to the crocodile at the end of the stick. A kayaker is floating along and evidently shocks an alligator who did not want to stick around for a photo shoot. Saltwater crocodile country. You can see how crystal clear this water is. And guess what, guys? We were just about to spear a barramundi right here, and then guess what we saw? That's right. Uh, that's about. So this guy is out with his woman, and somehow spotted this saltwater croc that would have been so easy to miss because of how it blends in with the water, and how still it just sits there. Like, wow! I mean, it's incredible. I could just imagine if these two like went for a swim right there not knowing what's going on. He talked about it in this video how sneaky crocs are and he is right. Crazy stuff, I would be out of there. Water, you know, whether it be a meter deep, a meter and a half, um, they're there and they're watching. Um, that there's a massive predator and um, quite easily could kill me, um, so. Now they have black spots around their snow. These black spots are more like sensors. Basically, anything touches their snout causes the alligator to open up even wider. The trigger on the alligator. Here's another guy way too close for comfort and too comfortable with the dangerous crocodile. Well, actually, this is an alligator and not a croc, but you get my point. Look, I felt like this would be a good one to include, even though it's not a croc, because it still is the same premise. I mean, much like the croc, I would be nowhere close to this thing as he is, but props to him. Dude started to spit out some stats on this beast, and he looks completely trusting of this scary animal. Look, I'm shaking my dog on head, bro. Y'all remember that Aaliyah classic song called Rock the Boat? Yeah, I think the hippo under this boat probably listened to it too. A man is out kayaking and very nearly becomes a human pot pie for a hungry, angry gator. Well, 
buaya sudah 20, 20 tahun lebih, mungkin 21 tahun dari anak nelayan. Ada tiga anak nelayan atau empat anak nelayan itu sedang bermain dengan. Y'all know that I rebuke the notion that people should own wild animals. This Indonesian family owns a crocodile that is over six feet long. Um, this is insane, folks. This croc is a bit chubby, but it is still very capable of making anyone in this family a meal. Karena dia kan minum juga di situ, kadang BAB juga ya, di situ. Jadi kolam air kolam itu harus bersih. Dan mungkin untuk perawatan kulitnya suka saya mandiin dia satu minggu sekali juga sekalian bersihin kolam. Saya sikat badannya, saya sikat giginya, semua yang saya sikat. Thanks for watching. I'm Curtis. See you next time. Oke. Okay. Do good, do great, and they talk bad on you. No mean, no face, cause they're not factual. No, no, no. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through. I might hit the bank and get a bag or two. My mama asked me why you got that cash room. Second you switch up, they might get mad at you. No, you're not my friend, so no, I'm taxing you. You are like my sons, I'm going dad on you. Okay, good job, good job. Get my no prop. Hit my line, you're irking me. I hit that wusa. No, I don't got perks on me. I sleep good on God. Spend that money, make it reappear. Ta-da.